say it's a small world, but guess what? Bombardier wants to make the world seem even smaller by introducing a new business jet that can fly non-stop for 8,000 nautical miles. The company unveiled the new aircraft with much fanfare as the show-stopping event at the eBay show in Geneva. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Bombardier Global 8000 aircraft. Thanks to a pair of uprated GE Passport engines and a transonic wing, the Global 8000 is going to be able to fly at unprecedented speeds of up to Mach 0.94. And Bombardier says that makes it the fastest civil aircraft in the world since the Concorde. In fact, the Global 8000 is fundamentally much the same as the existing Global 7500 aircraft and owners of that model are going to be able to upgrade to the new specifications. You know, we're very satisfied, first of all, with the 7500 right. performance. You know, the airplane is already more than 100 delivered. It's flying, it's reliable, customers love it. So we said, okay, can, what can we do more with the airplane? The customer wanted the 8,000 nautical mile. They were very specific also that they still want to have the same size cabin. You know, not a smaller cabin, which was something we thought about yeah. 10 years ago. But you know, nobody wants it because the reality, if you're going to be flying, you know, for 16, 17 hours on an airplane and you have additional crew, you're going to end up, if you have a tree zone, to give the first zone to the crew. Deliveries of the Global 8000 will start in 2025, at which point it will replace the 7500 model as the company's flagship. And that will open up new non-stop routes. It will take a true 8,000 nautical miles. So that unlocks city pairs such as London, Perth, Houston, Dubai, and Singapore, LA. And this is performance with regular winds, with passengers on board. This is every day, day in and day out, no compromise performance. Much of the secret sauce that's responsible for the exceptional range and speed is in the aircraft's wing. The entire aircraft was designed with high speeds in mind from the get-go. So with that wing at an optimized level, with the cockpit, with all of the shapes of the aircraft already being the top of the aerodynamic spectrum, we're really now very glad to be pushing the Mach uh, 0.94 envelope. In fact, Bombardier's engineers and test pilots pushed the envelope even further. Working with NASA, they broke the Mach 1 sound barrier. And why you have to exceed that Mach speed, Mach 1, is to certify at an MMO of 0.94, you do have to show that the aircraft can perform structurally, performance-wise, flutter through a higher speed. So you, we call it envelope expansion. So to guarantee that safety and, that, and assure the performance, you have to push the envelope a bit further. There's the Mach. You can feel it. Definitely went Mach 1 there. With the 8000 model, Bombardier has probably taken the global family about as far as it can. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have a vision for what could come beyond that. Where we've gotten the plane is really the top of the pyramid in business aviation, so we're very happy with where it's at now. The engineers have done a tremendous job, and this is supported by the teams who are helping mature the aircraft in service. So it's a whole orchestra uh, to make the plane sing to how it must, whether it's in-service engineers, structural engineers, our aerodynamics specialists. But now, of course, we are looking to the future with blended wing body concepts, now that we've really matured this generation of wing technology on this aircraft.